Isaac Mio at eight. In the uh, back line, uh, nine, Tane Kateka. At 10, Walter Kateka, and he'll be looking to steer the team around uh, the park this afternoon. 11, Sully Tamani. 12, Louis David, which I'd suggest they'll be trying to send him up over the advantage line a lot today. 13, Josh Tinamoana. Uh, 14, Cody in fitness. So we'll just see how the teams go as they get into the second half. But it's, it's certainly not going to stop it from being a good contest. And uh, on screen at the moment, the Rugby WA Cup, that is on the line. So the, the team, so University currently holding it. So if they lose the match today, that will go to Wests, and then Wests will defend that cup at each of their games. So I like it. It's a bit like the Ranfurly Shield, I think it is, that they use in New Zealand. Uh, I think it's a great little tradition that they've started here. It's been going for a few years in Western Australia. And on the line today, and what a great thing, you know, for one of these teams to walk away with a little bit of silver after game one. Mention to them, you can see the university side now as they make their way down. Caleb Young in that number 12 jersey. Had a great season last year. He's been a great pickup for university since he came across from Cottesloe. And a couple of new names for, for both of these sides. A, a fair bit of similarity from the matchup in that classic grand final last year that West's got a Broncos <laughs> and everything else. There hasn't been too much contact so far. He's just given Vorster a little bit of time to get everyone settled, give his front row a bit of breath. Now let's see how they can strike here down in the red zone. So big scrum, big scrum for West to University. Look to have a bit of dominance in the early stages in this forward pack battle, but West hold this one firm. Vorster to Young, O'Sullivan on the loop, too far now, the line wide open, and he's over. So the youngster on debut scores his first try and gets University on the board to start their 2023 season. But it was a nice, simple move straight from that set play off the scrum test and uh, pretty to watch in the end. Absolutely, and that's exactly probably how they practiced it over these last few weeks. You could see a really good effort there from both front rowers, but especially Charlie Connolly there, keeping that right side down, keeping the right side up, knowing they had to strike. And then it's just a simple little play out the back, a little bit of confusion created with the West Scarborough winger jamming in. And we don't want to give too far in that space. We already talked about how quick he is and how rapid he was down the sideline before. All phases, test this D and then put it down into the 22. Love to see them play the ball down one end. So Hamber wins it well for Wests. Tinamana to Placid. Now it's going to be picked up here by Tufan. What can he do? Has he got the space to go on with it? He's got the space. Has he got the pace? Turns it back inside to Sharwood. Sharwood will score. So Tiam Tufan, everything working right for the youngster. A nice little bit of vision there. Didn't panic. And saw Byron Sharwood looming on the inside. And we'll pick it up on the replay. But University just capitalising there on some loose play. In fact, here it is. So again, it was West just panicking and Tufan stepping inside. It was well wrapped up by Tinamana, but Sharwood there just stepping up or standing up Koteka. And the Tufan did very, very well. in Koteka, they let it bounce. Vorster picks it up. Hold green. Back to yeah, you're on now. Clay Ewan. Isaac Mio. Koteka, in fact, he throws it over top of Tiffany Grace. It's been picked up by O'Sullivan. Nice hands to Sharwood. Sharwood, has he got the pace? I think he might. And Sharwood will score his second try for the afternoon. Again, from a mistake by Wes Scarborough. Yeah, you don't want to be making those passes under that sort of pressure. And uh, a little bit of a lucky bounce of the ball there falling in Rory O'Sullivan's hands, but he's put himself in a position to take that. So, you know, you've got to pay that, uh, pay that little bit of game sense. But, yeah, you know, you, this has got to be a good pass, and that's not... It wasn't, yeah, basically over the top of Tiffany Grace's head and uh, O'Sullivan, Johnny on the spot, and a nice clean pair of heels there by Sharp. has got a fair bit of pace. And a great set of hands off the ground there. That was a little, uh, little bounce off the ground. He scooped it up very well. Whether or not they're mauling, we've seen the ball go over the top. When they've, uh, when they've been setting up for more. So I think they just need to get a little bit of clarity and there's probably a few of those cobwebs, early season cobwebs that haven't been worked out yet. So University winning that one well through De Graff. And this good defence from West now driving University back. West seem to have lifted in intensity. There's McLennan now, jersey 17 to Graff. Runs into Louis David. Don't left, don't left. They go the short side through Connolly. 
Charlie Connolly. Charlie Connolly, the big front runner. Oh, that'll be on the highlights reel around the world as the big front rower shows a turn of speed and a step and how happy is he and as he should be. That 35 metre run has instantly in the last 15 seconds gone to 70 30, metres. Yeah, 35, give him all of it. That'll be on YouTube clips being passed around the world. It just came out of nothing. Charlie Connolly, we'll see it here on the replay. He picked it up off the back, the big right foot step, the gap opened up, the left foot step, <laughs> leaves Koteka scrambling oh, for air. And even better, look at it, Marcus Cutler's <laughs> there off his shoulder. The, the, the book.